Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we'll be answering the question, what is the degree of a vertex? And we're talking about graph theory vertices, of course. So let's get right into it. For starters, let's just plop down a single vertex, and this is our graph. Then what is the degree of this vertex? The degree, right now, is zero, and that's because there are no edges incident with this vertex. So the degree of a vertex is the number of edges incident with that vertex, which is the same as the number of vertices this vertex is adjacent to. So in this case, it's not adjacent to any vertices, and thus it has degree zero. Then if we draw another vertex, and we'll connect them with this blue edge, then the degree of both of these vertices is 1. Because this vertex is incident with one edge, this blue edge here, and this vertex is incident with one edge, of course the same edge as the other vertex. And equivalently, they're both adjacent to one vertex, so they have degree 1. And then just for one more example, let's draw another vertex, and we'll join this vertex to this vertex. Then these two vertices here, have degree 1, because they're both adjacent to one vertex, this one here. And again, equivalently, they're incident with one edge each. So they both have degree 1. This vertex here, however, has degree 2, because it's incident with these two edges, or again, equivalently, it's adjacent to these two vertices. The degree of a vertex is the number of edges incident with that vertex, or equivalently, the number of vertices adjacent to the vertex. Now, here we've got a neat little graph, a fun exercise for us. We're going to look at each vertex, the empty circles, and inside the circles, we'll put the degree of the vertex. So let's start with this one here. We see that has degree 1, because it's only incident with this edge here. So we put that 1 in there. Then moving on to this vertex, we see it's incident with 1, 2, 3, 4 edges, so we'll plop a 4 in there. Moving around to this one down here, we see it is incident with these two edges here, so we'll put a 2 in there. This vertex here is incident with 1, 2, 3 edges, so we'll put a 3 in there. This vertex here is incident with these two edges, so we'll put a 2 in there. And then this vertex here, we see is incident with 1, 2, 3, 4 edges. And so we put a 4 in there. And if we look at this vertex again, we counted up the edges, but of course you could also count up the adjacent vertices. It's adjacent to this vertex, this vertex, this vertex, and this vertex. So it's adjacent to four vertices, and of course that gives us a degree of 4. So now that we've got the degrees of these vertices filled out, let's just talk about a little notation. Let's go through and label these vertices for starters. So I'm going to call this vertex v1, this vertex v2, and so on. So I've labeled the vertices, and let's call this graph g. Then we denote the degree of a vertex in this way, d e g of the vertex. So here we've got the degree of v1, we know that that is equal to 1. We could also denote the degree of a vertex this way, deg, and then as a subscript you put the name of the graph that the vertex is in, and then of course you put the name of the vertex. So let's look at v4, for example. So the degree of the vertex v4 in the graph g, we see that's right here, and that has a degree of 3. So you can write it this way when the graph you're talking about is clear, but if you're working with multiple graphs at once, it would be wise to use this notation with the name of the graph in the subscript so it's clear what graph you're talking about. One other thing I'll mention is notation for maximum and minimum degrees. So the minimum degree of this graph is 1, because that's the smallest degree that a vertex in the graph has. And we denote that like this. This is lowercase delta of the graph G. So that's the minimum degree of G, which of course we see is 1, because this is the minimum degree of any vertex in the graph G. And then of course we also have a notation for the maximum degree, and that is this. That's an uppercase delta of the graph G, and what is that equal to? We see that the maximum degree in this graph is 4, which appears twice. So we can say that the maximum degree of G, written like that, is 4. So the minimum degree is a lowercase delta, and the maximum degree is an uppercase delta. 
And then lastly, we'll just look at this table real quick. These are some special names for vertices that have certain degrees. So if a vertex has degree zero, then we can call it an isolated vertex. If a vertex has degree one, we can call it an end vertex or a leaf. If it has degree 2n, which just means it's some even degree, we call it an even vertex. Similarly, if it has odd degree, we can call it an odd vertex. So this here is an isolated vertex. It has degree 0. Both vertices here are end vertices or leaves because they have degree 1. This vertex here is an even vertex because it has degree 2. And this vertex is an odd vertex because it has an odd degree of 3. So one last time, the degree of a vertex is the number of edges incident with that vertex, which is also equivalent to the number of vertices adjacent to the vertex. And that's all there is to it. So I hope this video helped you understand what the degree of a vertex is. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet.